and just slip through. You're you're right, but it's a, the between the universes. What you're saying is between the universes, double double pane ga- glass. Yeah, just and they between. operate right in the middle. Right, right in the middle, middle that right whole middle. space. So, yeah, we have we have us, that tiny little. Them. Yeah, we have the tiny piece of glass. That's us. Yeah. Everyone else is between. Yeah. So then we can see them, but like we can't really interact. No. Sometimes they pop in, pop out. Yeah. Okay. I like it. That's a good theory. But why not? Go. Why not? Right? You just keep adding panes of glass forever. Is it infinite? <laughs> Stack it. <laughs> then when you zoom in on the panes of glass, you see little panes of glass. And between those panes of glass, another pane of glass. Yeah, yeah, infinite. That's, that's I think I figured this out. I think we cracked it. Yeah. yeah. Go. Pizza's infinitely... My- one size pizzas. My brain hurts <laughs> <laughs> so much. <laughs> uh, the interesting one, thinking with aliens to this, like for me, is like you would think that, like, if this was a fractal design in that complex form of life, you would have like almost a pattern to, like, say, a species growth. So you could you could assume that they had, you know, like the the same trajectory as us as we evolve. Like, if that if that's the if, the, if everything's a fractal, you could okay, like basically it's interesting make predictions on there, alien species. But there, there have been those things. Like, like you look at all the other planets, right? Like, were those habitable at one point in time? Was there a nuclear war on Mars, right? Like, right? What? Like that's kind of the fucking track that we potentially are going on as well, too. Yeah. Well, and then life on those planets could be just you know, it would almost have to be. It would be. Maybe on not on Mars, but on any other planet that we know of, life would be completely different. It wouldn't be probably wouldn't be carbon based. It'd be some completely different set of circumstances which gave rise to this life form. And if if there's always like we always talk about like a great filter, civilizations yeah. rise up, they get to a point, they get wiped out. It's over. They're gone. We're never gonna find a signal from them because they never actually launched one. They never had spaceships. Or they did, and they're so old. They're defunct pieces of technology floating around the solar system, like Oumuamua. We don't, we, we don't know what they are either, because they're defunct. Yeah, they're defunct, like but they just travel rock, forever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, space rock. Hmm. I don't know, boys. <laughs> I shouldn't. Have t- I should have drank half the half the. You should have drank pop. two. I should have drank half the pop. Your mind was but, popping, but it's been fractal. <laughs> <laughs> Between this and the meltdown, I just, it's. It's hard to like. It's just hard to. It's hard to think about because I'm like, I want to believe instantly in the fractal universe, and I'm just like, this well, is it. This is. But that's why I, I went to boxing before this, and I was hoping just like this Jason Padgett guy I'd get a fucking TBI, and I'd come here and be like, well, fractals, boys. This is exactly what's <laughs> let, going on. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Everything's broccoli. What else yeah. do you need to know? <laughs> no, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But it, it, I, I know it'd be it would be interesting that you know if you found other life in other worlds, would their worlds be very, like in the same kind of patterns in their in their world and uh, their life and their nature? Like, would you kind of see that that same pattern? Like, would that be the thing? Like, if we see plant life, like like a fern on Earth, a comparable fern on another planet would be a fractal in nature. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it'd just be called a glebe blower or some shit. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. It might be it might be made out of different molecules yeah, but it will but look like, the same or even just have the the scaling pattern right yeah exactly yeah not instead of it could be anything yeah but like it's a completely different look but it has that scaling pattern like a fern and then you're just like okay so like all life kind of this way what gr- grows and advances in this kind of fractal nature Right on yeah. all planets. Like, if that, is that if that is maybe that's the universal standard? Is that when life comes, life follows this rigid like mathematics, this simple mathematics? You know what's the the most crazy thing about these type of theories? Holographic universe, simulation theory, string theory, fractal universe. Humans probably will never really know, ever. There'll be the theories will evolve and evolve and evolve, but really, there's really no way to really you mathematically prove it. But in a hundred years, someone might change the theory just a bit, which puts a small hole in yours. Does that go on forever? Like, no matter it, how much knowledge you get, you will never know it all. Yeah, may, maybe like in a different sense, 
like knowledge is fractal where it will just go on forever and there's actually no end you just keep going you'll never actually get to the end well you would you, but that that's 100 you would say problems are just always going to get more complex well like i think gonna... i think we've found a lot of evidence to support like relativistic physics works on the scale of like where we are like it's surprising the amount of star scale yeah, but i'm saying but uh, it's surprising the things that were predicted by Einstein and we've seen them now, like we've been able to zoom in on them with our telescopes and like all the technology that we have today, we've detected things that it's like, he predicted that, that math equation he wrote down fucking, you know, 80 years ago, it works. It's amazing. Like, yeah. holy shit. And we're just, like, and just, we're that just e equals that MC squared. Now. And like, that's everything. Like it's, it keeps working. <laughs> Every time we find something, we're like, it keeps working. <laughs> It's well, always amazing. What if, what if what if in hundreds of years we find something that doesn't work? And then yeah, we'll well, maybe we will. But it's it we just again. keep finding things that do work, and it's just like maybe we will find something that doesn't work. But we have to keep looking. But like, yeah, if you like, there's there, yeah, it would be impossible because if you, I would say if hypothetically, if Love your it. civilization lasted forever and somehow was to obtain all the knowledge. There is no more. There's nothing else to learn. Yeah, You've the end of the fractal. All. End of the end fractal. Of the fractal. You like you. There is. We know all the information. We know oh, it God. all. Yeah. What is the difference between you and some like omnipotent God at that point? Like you're like we know how odd, we know how everything works. We can predict well, if, everything. If you learned all the all knowledge, if you learned all the knowledge, who put the knowledge there to learn? There you go forever that's what i mean you're never gonna figure it out there's always a question you're right but what if there's never what if there's just nothing (laughs) well that's the that's that's the other side what that's it there is actually nothing we're just we're just here and that's it there's some random circumstances Maybe outside of our universe there is literally nothing but we're not able to comprehend that because we have been raised here on this earth and maybe there is just nothing the human brain i don't think can even co- like comprehend the absolute comprehend idea nothing. of nothing like even the air just, like you think it's empty it's not empty like there's still there's atoms here there's all kinds of dust particulates all things microscopic yeah, bacteria whatever everything's here but you cannot possibly comprehend an absolute nothing even in space even the space around us like outside of you know earth and it's like low earth orbit like out beyond the moon and the space between the planets there's stuff there there's light there's things like that but you cannot possibly dark energy nothing like nothing it's very difficult and it's like (laughs) we find it hard to kind of figure that stuff out what are you talking yeah. about that? That that's easy. I'm on board with There's that. Nothing there, boys. Fractal this <laughs> aliens everything. Nothing nah, man, there. Nothing. It's I, fucking fuck I, all. I like, it's, it's fuck all there, boys. It's, nothing. It, it's funny. You're like, it's like Dan, Dan. What you're basically saying is that we're so stupid that our brains can't even <laughs> comprehend nothing. Yeah. That could be it. Right, and that's the but that's the that's the reality of it. It's like we we just our our we will never. I I truly think that we are near. <laughs> near the ceiling nope. right of like what our monkey not brain even can close do. that's what i think okay, okay, the, okay i like how you said that human brain brain monkey brain yeah the monkey right? brain the artificial our intelligence current? intelligence brain that's coming yeah that will eventually be more or less perfected in our eyes and will give rise to itself will be vastly yeah. more like our all natty brain like we're we're almost or we're, or or what it will be is we will create this ai and yeah. we will integrate that ai with ourselves will be androids in a way yeah it's like brainiac it's like brainiac and lex luther he has the he has they have to merge because lex luther has imagination as a human and brainiac doesn't have that he can't as a machine he cannot go beyond his limits because he can't comprehend beyond his limits so he has to merge with a human in order to you need to conceive something that you never conceived of before you need the intuitive human brain to merge with the ruthless brutality calculated ai not brain. even like the intuitive brain. just the random chaos of the human brain and how it exists how we dream things that never existed before you're just like you know some some at some point like a caveman got and got up and said hey you know it'd be really cool if we had wings like i've never seen that before but it'd be really neat if we did like yeah and he's like they have people with one. wings I and mean, we got people and then you got 100 people jumping rights. off cliffs dying and eventually someone makes a hang like the cover the of one of the greatest albums like, what ever the fuck yeah. are you talking yeah. about <laughs> <laughs> you stone little apes <laughs> stupid fucking apes did you, did you eat those months mushrooms that were growing in the fucking woolly mammoth fucking shit again you son of a bitch <laughs> it's 
I, I truly that if I find that a comforting thought, Dan, though, when you say that, because a lot of times when I think of artificial intelligence and like it taking over, I think of it as like, hey, guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys, enjoy the next video.